happy Monday. Wow. I, I feel like I'm coming on a little strong, right? <laughs> right off the bat. Happy Monday. Let's be more soothing. It's all about self-care. How are you? What if I did the entire live stream in this delicious dish voice? Would you like it? Would you be into it? Great. Great. Um, yeah. Okay. So, I don't know. I, I don't know what. It's like I've never done this before. Let me pour a drink. <laughs> um, um, I see my, my dresser right now. Also, I did not have the skin irritation like two minutes ago. So, that's great. I love when that, when that happens. Um, I have, well, okay. First things first, I'm drinking. We love this time of year because it's when the Brooklyn Brewery black chocolate stout comes out, which is seasonal. Yeah. It's not, it's not seasonal. Well, we can't find it any other time of year. Oh, wait, I guess it does say winter 2020. Huh. Yeah. I swear I've seen it other times of the year, but whatever. Okay, so this is a legendary Russian Imperial Stout. Oh, wait, I have a glass for it. I forgot. Oh, I love a creamy stout. Ooh, it's strong. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Okay, so there's that. And then Randy, um, there's a new like fish place that opened around us. It's called Make My Fish, right? No, well, that's one of them. But no, this place, this place is called Catch 22. Catch 22. And he got me some fresh oysters, fresh oysters on the half shell. Isn't that nice? He doesn't eat oysters. So they're just, he's like, I thought you could use them for your live stream. I was like, that's so thoughtful. So I'm going to have fresh oysters. Look at these, look at these honkers. Look at them. If you don't like oysters, well, too bad. <laughs> I'm going to eat them anyway. Um, I'm going to just prepare them. I'm going to put some, I wish I could show you, show you how I'm preparing them, but I can't. Um, some lemon and then some cocktail sauce. Mm, I'm so good. Alley dupes. I'm going to puke a little in my mouth. All right. Go get yourself some Pepto-Bismol or something. Um, fresh oysters are like one of my favorite things ever. Guys, I'm doing Really specific, specific things tonight. I'm shaving my face and eating raw oysters on the half shell. Let's see how many thumbs downs I can get. How about it, huh? 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 How about it? I'm going for, let me set, let me think. My goal is 12 thumbs downs within the live stream. Let's see if we can make it happen. Mmm. Mmm. You'd be amazing. People hate the fit. Like, people feel very strongly about women shaving their face. People will come out of the woodworks to hate on it. Okay. Who's going to look younger in the end? I think it's me. Who's going to have skin like a baby's ass? Oh. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to have another oyster here. I feel like, well, we're not, I do, I feel like I need this, the fork to dislodge them, but, mm. okay, what am I missing? Okay. Who's here? Let's see who's here. Virginia Matthews. <laughs> I can't even read. Virginia Matthews. Bonnie Nominson. Kristen J. Ashley A. Leslie Mills. Kendall. Anna Marie Coe. Kim McConnell. Jerry Morrison. All, all the usual suspects. 
Um, what are people saying? Let me see here. Mm-hmm, 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 Okay, so I decided because I'm waiting for my damn Raw Beauty Christie shit to show up that I was gonna do another skincare night because honestly, I don't, I don't really have that much new makeup. So, I mean, I could have made it work, but I figured I have more skincare to show you. Some of it's the same, some of it's new or new, newer to you. Wow, I'm sorry, I'm just like really digging on these oysters. Mmm. Mmm, there's already, there's already another than up. Mmm, it's good. Okay. Okay, so, I'm so distracted by the damn oysters. Sarah Kleinsmith is here. Hey, Sarah. So I haven't done a video where I shaved my face. I only did it once. And it wasn't a live stream. I wasn't live streaming back then. Um, and it was quite a while ago. It was like over two years ago now. And I got a lot of f false... People were sharing things that were wrong, is what I'm trying to tell you. They were commenting, they're like, oh, I don't do that because I'll grow myself a beard. Or like, what are you doing? You're gonna have stubble. No, you're not. I just wanna start this out right now, right, like in the beginning. It is totally false that if you shave anything on your body, it's going to grow back thicker and more coarse. That's literally not something that happens. If you think it's happening to you, you're wrong. Okay, you're wrong. Can't confirm, been shaving since I was about 17 and I cannot grow a beard to save my life. See? Exactly. Um, so the whole idea behind shaving, it's like, it's anti-aging. One, it makes your makeup, if you, if you wear makeup, it makes your makeup go on either. And it's exfoliating. That's why so many, um, men have nice skin and it's inexplicable. You're, it makes you angry because, you know, a lot of them are shaving their face and they're constantly taking that top layer off their skin. Okay. So we're going to shave tonight. We could also call this, what is it called? What, what's the, the feminine term for it with the tinkle razors or you get it done professionally. It's called someone fill, fill in the blank. Dermaplaning. I just don't, I just don't understand. I will say I don't understand like paying to have that done professionally, not to take away from anyone who does that professionally. But like when you can basically get the same results if you use a, a Gillette or a Bic razor and Barbasol, which is exactly what I'm going to use. So just saying. Oh, is Carla Cox here? Carla Cox is here. Hey, Carla. Um, I only have six of these oysters and I'm going to finish them before we get going because God knows I don't have room for them on this dresser <laughs> with all of the skincare that I have. Isn't that, doesn't that look delicious? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Ashley A. I've been dying to get the derma planer that's at Sephora, but I keep not doing it because I feel like it's too much for basically a razor. Don't do that. Don't do it. That's you'll see. Just get it. Just get a Gillette. They're nice razors, you know. Um, Cece's asking what happened to the 730 time slot. So 7.30 was only on the Thursdays that I did it. I'm just trying some new things out, but Monday has always been at seven. Sorry if that's really confusing for you guys. But I will say, I'm not sure how much I'm crazy about the Thursday time slot. I don't feel like, I feel like a little fewer people are attending. Um, 
I don't know, but this, we're not doing it this Thursday. It's going to be a Monday and Wednesday, well, clearly Monday today and Wednesday this week because Thanksgiving is on Thursday. Just so you know. Sherry Ford is here. Hold, please. Sherry Forrest said, happy Monday and happy transition has finally started. I will gladly put up the mask, the maskless assholes for the next couple months knowing, oh, I will put up with, sorry. <laughs> I said I couldn't read tonight. I will gladly put up with the maskless assholes for the next couple months knowing we are at the beginning of the end. Yay for shaving. Makeup goes on so much nicer. Thank you for the $75 Venmo, Sherry Ford. <laughs> Thank you. Sherry Godmother. Okay. Um, so we're gonna, there's a long list of things that we're gonna do tonight. And I am gonna have to leave the room a couple times. Okay, I'm gonna have to get some hot water. It'll be fine. You'll all chat, you'll talk amongst yourselves. And I'll be right back. All right. All right. I'm done with the oysters. Mm. Thank you for getting those. Oysters are delicious. Okay. Let me put those over here. Here we go. Mmm. <sighs> I feel so fresh. This made me feel good for some reason. I don't know. Are they they have vitamins in them, right? They're healthy or something? Um Okay, so let me get reset up here because I had some to move some things around. We're gonna we're gonna dive right into shaving. Get, maybe get the Tabasco out of the way. Okay, so what I want to say is we have 137 people here. If you guys would be so kind, if you haven't already, to give this a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love you to subscribe unless you're an asshole, and then don't. Please don't, because I'm gonna have to want. I'm gonna want to. <laughs> I'm gonna want to have to. That makes. I'm gonna want to have to. No, I'm going to get rid of you anyway. Is what I'm gonna. <laughs> somehow, some way. Your assholishness will come out, and inevitably, I'll have to hide you. So, only nice people here. Okay. Um, and then also, if you could. <clears throat> hit the notification bell. That always, always helps out as well. Okay, I am going to, you guys are doing such a good job of talking amongst yourselves. I'm gonna go, and I know, four thumbs downs already. I'm telling you, we're like so close to 12. It's gonna happen. Um, okay, I'm gonna get a bowl of hot water so I can shave my face. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, I got it. Here we go. Okay, so this is how I do it. And it's it's a pretty quick process. So, I mean, I usually do it over the sink, clearly. Uh, this is a Gillette razor. Um, it has three blades. I don't know the name of it. I linked just all the Gillette razors at Target. <laughs> um, if you if you need help finding a Gillette razor, and then this is just Randy's shaving cream. It's just um, Barbasol sensitive skin, and let's go to it. Don't have to go too crazy with the shaving cream. Also, be very very careful about your eyebrows, okay? The first time I did this, I wasn't careful enough and I did nick off the end of my eyebrow. Okay, so how often do I do this? I don't do this as much as I probably could, to be quite honest. I probably do it about once a month. 
And yes, I'm putting it on my nose because I also put it on my forehead. I also like to get um, my jawline. Okay. K Bella Beauty is here. Hey, K Bella Beauty. Oh my God, you guys were, we're more than halfway there to the 12 thumbs downs I was hoping for. Are you guys thumbs downing me? Because you want me to meet my goal. You guys stop it. You stop it. So supportive. Thank you. I am using, Rupee is here. I am using um, just Barbasol. It doesn't matter what shaving cream you use. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. So I'm just dipping my razor into the hot water. And I'm just getting in there. You do your nose. I can't imagine. I can't manage to get into that area. I mean, I do what I can. You know what I mean? I don't get crazy. Randy, how is this watching me do this? Is this, is it weird? Honestly, I haven't been paying attention. I've been watching the comments. Oh, <laughs> he's not paying attention. That's fair. I mean, his job, his job in quotations is to watch the comments. I like to do my nose because, I mean, you know, the skin needs to be exfoliated there too. I mean, I can't like get in, into the nooks and crayons. Um, a lot of people have told me, like, I've heard so many different things. You can, sh some people shave their face every day. People do it. Like, I've had women tell me they had no idea it had, um, it, it was all, it was about skincare. They were just doing it for hair removal. Um, but I don't really do it for hair removal. I do it because it genuinely smooths your skin. And also, um, allows, sorry, sorry, I'm concentrating here. Um, allows for the product, whatever products you put on afterward to, um, you know, saturate into the skin even better. Around this area, like I said, I'm like super careful, super careful. Okay, why not? That's pretty much it. And now I'm gonna go and take a hot towel to this, this mug, and then we're gonna move on with our skincare routine. Okay, one second. There are going to be a few times of this. So again, I trust you guys. I know you can talk amongst yourselves. Megan hurt oysters and increased penetration. I know, I, sorry, I, it's unintentional. 
Mm. Jamie Kay is here. She said, I just opened an amazing red wine. It's called Melodramatic Macabre and I'm living my best life. Yes. That sounds incredible. Ryan Kay, she did a great job and she's lucky because I have to shave and keep my beard looking shaved. Correct. Are you talking about me? Did you say I did a good job? If that's, if that's what you're saying, that's so nice. All right. Make sure I get all the shaving cream off here. Okay. <sighs> oh, okay. So next we're going to move on to, can get that shaving cream out of the way. I'm going to take a drink is what I'm going to do. Mm. I should have pulled up all of the benefits of shaving. I named a couple, but <sighs> Benna benefits of women shaving their face. Mm. Oh, wow. There's so many, there's so many articles. Okay. I, I just wanted bullet points. I didn't want a full article. Oh, here we go. Benefits of shaving your face. Smoother skin, softer skin, lightly exfoliates, helps products penetrate more deeply. I, I named all of them. Guys, I'm basically an expert. Like I'm basically. <laughs> all right. Does it help with dry flakes? Okay, well, I think the things you put on afterward will help with that, but don't, you have to, you know, put shit on your face afterwards. So we're going to follow that up with, I know this sounds intense, but I'm going to use my P501970. It's not a terrible idea anyway, just because like, obviously you just used a razor on your face. So it kind of acts as like a disinfectant. Not that I'm too worried about that. Um, but also, I mean, guys, treat yourself kind of night. We're going big. Else gonna get in there because we just shaved. Okay, so I, sh I forget to show the products here. So this is my P fifteen nineteen seventy by Biologique, Biologique Recherche. I use this almost every single day. Guys, calm down. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt. It just stings. But I like, like the sting. That's how you know it's working. Okay. So if you don't know what Biologique Recherche P51970 is, <laughs> sound crazy when I say the whole thing. It is a chemical exfoliant. It's in the toner family, but it's so much more than a toner. It's a balancing exfoliant. And yes, my skin is going to look very red. It's not just because of the shaving. This is how it looks when I use P50. So everyone calm down, calm your tits. I also do my neck. Trish Van Rogan, nice accent, Kate. Thank you. I took six years of French and I have nothing to show for it except that I can pronounce things well. This is, Amanda said, slap that face, girl. Get that circulation going. This is what I'm saying. I didn't know how to, I didn't know I was supposed to do this until I had a facial at Rescue Spot recently. And the woman was like, no, you need to get in there. Like, get in there. So I'm getting in there. Okay, now we're done with that. Next, I'm gonna move on to, what am I gonna, let me, let me check my order that I so uh, thoughtfully wrote out here. Right, the honey potion. Okay, let me just line everything up here so I don't have to keep referring to that. Honey potion, mask, da, 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 da. Okay, great, okay. We can't just not use a honey potion. You know what I mean? Like we can't because you could use it several times a week and it's healing. It's healing. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, 
Honey! Honey on the fache! Mmm. Okay. It is so warming. I mean, it's extra warming because, you know, shaving and biologique recherche. Bonnie Nominson said she's using it after we're done with the chat tonight. Sweet. So if you guys um, haven't checked out my vlog yet, I put out a vlog, my second vlog. It was so much fun. It was I mean, it was kind of a beast. It was my own fault because I there was a lot of footage from five weeks <laughs> and I edited it all yesterday, but it went up last night. So if you haven't checked it out, you definitely should. There's all kinds of good stuff in there. There's some New York City rants, lots of great explorations of New York City, amazing food. You get to see Randy briefly. I mean, who could ask for more? Um, Because he had his birthday celebration um, recently and we had the best time. Um, mm, mm. Ryan K. I love your vlog, your friend Emily, that Ryan Killy and said her haircut was absolutely. Listen, she hasn't needed any more compliments on her, her damn hair, okay? Her head's gonna blow up to the size of Texas if she gets one more compliment on her fabulous hair. <laughs> no, I'll tell her. I'll tell her. I guess. Trish Van Rogen, Randy of the Seafoam Eyes. <laughs> Aww. He does have seafoam green eyes. Just giving myself a face massage here. Yes, Kim McConnell was at a steak tartare on um, his birthday. Yeah, well, one of many things. Steak tartare with an olive tapenade. If you haven't watched the vlog yet, there is a really amazing cameo made by the potato chip omelet at Cathedral. It is the most sumptuous. I don't even, I don't even wanna say the most sumptuous omelet because it's one of the most sumptuous things I've ever had. We almost sassy looks like we have one of almost everything on the menu. Yeah, we, we really, we came close. I'm just gonna keep rubbing. Honestly, this isn't hurting anything. I'm not, I'm not doing the gua sha facial tonight, so this is going to serve as my facial massage. It did have caviar on it. Yes, the omelet has caviar, which you don't even really taste. Um, and then it has, it has creme fraiche and potato chips. And what else? Is that it? No, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. So we had a great time that night. We drank all the things. I, we had two bottles of wine um, and they, they kept on giving us free shots. So we each had a sh two shots and then we had a cocktail. <laughs> but we were doing pretty good with all that we ate, you know, like we were okay. We were okay. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna let that simmer in, simmer down now. Um, I'm gonna put some Laneige on my lips. Cece, how did you make it home? We just took the train, we were fine. We're a little, you know, a little tips, but we are fine. All right, let me go back up in the comments. Let me see what people are saying. 
Ayana, Kate, your skin is not sensitive at all. Good for you. I'm jealous. My skin is so sensitive. It drives me crazy. Yeah, I don't know that I feel like I have, I don't know. I feel like my skin is just normal. Like it, yeah, I don't feel like I have overly sensitive skin. Um, I'm just scrolling up, scrolling up here. Um, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Okay, I can't comment on any of these things. I don't know what anyone's, what any of this is in reference to. Um. <laughs> okay, cool, great. Oh, Lisa said, I use the ordinary peeling solution after and then I, and then the honey, oh, the I am honey mask, but Saturday is the honey mask from pharmacy. Okay, nice. Okay. Okay. So I was trying to think about what we've been watching and Randy's been working. Um, so I've been, well, I'm making him watch the undoing. Basically I watched it myself. So sorry. And Anna, thank you so much. Um, and then I was like, okay, listen, I know you didn't think you wanted to watch this, but you need to watch it. So I'm rewatching it with him because like, as I've said, a lot of it is filmed in our area. It's so good. It's so good. I mean, it's, it's a little heavy, but it's a great mystery. I kind of want to talk about who you think has done it, but I also don't want to for anyone. Who hasn't seen it, and I also not, we're not totally caught up on the last episode. So I just, Nicole Kidman with that hair, that hair, the hair from Days of Thunder, the hair from Far and Away is like, what is even happening? It's so, so perfect. She just looks like a Renaissance painting. Um, and I do have to say, like, you know, she went through that period where she had like a an intense amount of work done on her eyebrow area. Remember she got like that lift and it was, it looked crazy, but it's toned down now. You know what I mean? Like I, it, it's toned down. And I, I think she looks, I mean, she always looks beautiful, but she, I think she looks beautiful. She looks flawless on that show. Um, Sharon, Sharon Cottigan. Oh, she is not my favorite actor at all. Okay, so I think she's a great actor. I will say I do have an issue with her accent, but I get like really intense about accents. Like I, I notice if someone even is a little bit off with their accent, I have to IMBD them immediately because I'm like, where are they from? They're not American. Um, and she's clearly, we know she's Australian, but she when she gets upset in a scene, um, she loses her American accent and she kind of slips back into her Australian. Um, so I don't think she's, she's great at that, but honestly, no one ever mentions it. <laughs> so I think she's getting away with it. Um, oh, thank you. Someone commented on my nails. Yes, I got my nails redone. They have some honey potion on them, but, um, yeah, I just got like a like a sensible nude. I mean, guys, the honest truth is I feel like we're all kind of feeling like at least I'll speak for New York, but I, I probably could speak for the nation. <laughs> that sounded so dramatic. Let me speak for the nation. Let me not. Let's just not. But we're headed probably back toward a, a lockdown. So I'm like, well, I better enjoy these gels while I can, you know, enjoy. I mean, it's a terrible idea to get my hair done platinum again because that was so naive because I'm totally screwed now <laughs> if I can't get my hair done. Oh, well. Oh, Sean K Beauty is here. I'm here in New York and we all need a skincare night. Yes. Oh, 
Oh, Laura said she just finished watching my fall in New York City vlog. Thank you. Honestly, you guys, if and when you watch the vlog, I think the real star of the vlog is that guy from Barcade. I mean, that is like the perfect cameo. I could, he couldn't have been cast better. Like just, it's short and sweet. Um, he was such a character and we basically had that place to ourselves. It was pretty amazing. Ashley A, I know I don't have a root smudge right now. So if we lock down and I can't get my hair done, it's gonna be a harsh root mess. Oh girl, let me tell ya. I think I'm gonna be suffering. Yes, testicles. That's right, he's the testicles guy. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you gotta go watch the vlog. Um, they are allowing salons to stay open here in California, so maybe there's hope for you. I mean, now, I'm talking about what's coming up. Okay, they're open now. Ayana, here I am bragging about how much I love your personality. Oh, to my husband. And he goes, what would you do if you met her and she didn't like you? Wow, that's like super fucked up of your husband. <laughs> okay, negative Nance. Well, I don't know. Let's play the horrible what if game all night. Jeez Louise. What if everyone just hated you when you met them? How would, you, would that, would you be upset? <laughs> Oh, thanks. I would be. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> wow. Rude. Jamie K, our poor go governor of the state because of the damned hicks in central Pennsylvania, but the Philly mayor shut down most. Oh, I forget. Jamie K. I don't know why I always think you're from New York, but you're not, you're not. But the Philly mayor shut down most indoor things. Wow, I'm looking at myself down on my computer and this is really a look. Like this is, wow. Wow. I must really feel comfortable with you guys because, wow. Um. <laughs> you look like the Joker before he stabbed the well, I take that as a compliment because I actually feel like, and I'm sorry that I use this reference all the time, but I feel like I look like, you know what I'm going to say, Marlon Brando in the Island of Dr. Moreau. I mean, if you had to choose between the Joker or that, I'm sorry to say, I'd go with the Joker every time. I mean, I love Marlon Brando, but that was not, that wasn't one of his better looks. Oh, Jamie Kay, I went to college at NYU and lived in Harlem for a while, so that's probably why. Okay, yes. Got it. Sharon, Sharon I'm going to need to hear your accent before I decide. Wait, what? My Brando accent. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I have that. I don't know if I have that. What do I... Help me. Give me. Give me something to go off of. Um, give me. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> wow. I should have workshopped this beforehand. <laughs> okay. Don't. I don't. That's not a special skill, and I don't have that in my back pocket. Here I am, here I am really dissing Nicole Kidman. But you know who's great at accents? This gal. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll work on it. Scars to Stars Beauty is here and I hopped on at the perfect time. I love the accent. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Nancy Staggs, I appreciate you showing us how to shave your our face. I still do not know how for sure. Nancy, what do you mean? Uh, it, I mean, 
it, I don't mean to sound condescending, but it's 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 very simple. You just literally, you know what I think it is? I think you're, people are just scared. I was scared too. I'm like, wait, there's gotta be more to it. There's gotta be more. It's like, no, there's literally not more. It's literally just, you slap some shaving cream on your face. You throw, men can do it. Need I say more? This is not complicated. Sorry, not sorry. Could have been. Could have been a contender. I could have been a contender. Eh? Uh? Eh? Uh? That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Only a 6.8. Listen, it was better than before. It's, before. it's better than what I just did before. It's funny now that we're talking about him because I was just thinking, um, I'm going to let this set for a couple more minutes and we're going to take it off. Um, I was thinking about the Godfather. I feel like the Father reminds me of the holidays. Why is that? Does a lot of it take place during the holidays or just because it's Italian and the Italian just feels in t in, like inherently everything is festive? Everything you just said was wrong and weird. Why? Why is it wrong? It just feels food and, and well, no, food. Sense holidays. Like the Godfather is pretty much nothing to do with Christmas. I know, but you know what I'm saying? It just feels, it's family and food and festive. Okay, God. I'll, I'll give you that. Okay. Sure. All right. Well, I, I was really stretching there, but Cece said I'm right. Okay. So, <laughs> but so today, okay, well, let me just take this off. Talk amongst yourselves again, and then we'll move on. All right, I, I'm gonna take it off on camera. I just had to get a hot towel. So here's the deal. I was thinking about this because obviously Thanksgiving is coming up. And I was like, I can't cook Thanksgiving dinner. And it's not because I don't want to. Well, I kind of don't want to. But the actual reason I don't want to is because our kitchen is tints. Okay, it's teensy tints. And it's fine. It's fine. But like, Listen, cooking a turkey is an art, okay? And our stove is not state of the art, or not our stove, our oven. So <laughs> Ashley A just sent me a text, how the Godfather became an unlikely holiday classic. See, I'm not wrong. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you. Silence from the kitchen. Okay, so what I'm trying to tell you is uh, we ordered Thanksgiving, a full Thanksgiving meal, and we just got it in the nick of time because most places in New York, like, they're sold out. Like, they cut off. They cut off on the 20th. But I found this place called Evelyn's Kitchen, and it's in East Harlem. And, like, oh God, the sides. Wait, can I find the sides? I think I sent them to my mom. Hold on a second. I think I memorized them. <laughs> okay, you memorize them, but I, I have them right here. So for $180, listen to this. You get sage roasted turkey breast and a choice of four sides plus dessert, plus a pint of our homemade turkey gravy and one pint of orange spice cranberry sauce. The dessert is four banana pudding pudgies. What? And then the sides, these are the sides. Traditional cornbread stuffing with bacon and pork sausage. Garlic green beans with caramelized shallots. Mashed red skinned potatoes. Ms. Jackson's spicy greens with, sorry, <clears throat> bursting with saliva. Ms. Jackson's spicy greens with smoked turkey, no pork. Five spice sweet potato souffle. Rid it's literally called ridiculously cheesy 
mac cheese, hot sauce and honey Brussels sprouts, and roasted winter root vegetables. So you choose four of those. So we chose the cornbread stuffing, the mashed red skin potatoes, the, Randy, let me have the ridiculous, the ridiculously cheesy mac and cheese because I'll be eating it by myself. I'll also gain an extra five pounds so I'm gonna have to go to the gym beforehand. And the hot sauce and honey Brussels sprouts. That's what we got. That's good for $180 and we're gonna have leftovers and I'm gonna make extra mashed potatoes because they're our favorite part. So very exciting. I just, I feel very, I feel overly proud of myself for being lazy enough to order this <laughs> because you know when you just take something on because you're like, well, this is what we do. I've got to make this dinner. No, no, I don't have to make the dinner. I can have someone else make it and I can go pick it up and have like this insane sort of like soul food, comfort food Thanksgiving. So that's what we're doing at kitchen. Um... I'll tell you how it went. I'll try to, I'll try to vlog it. I'll vlog it. <sighs> what are people saying? Sherry Thomas said I made the right, right call. Thank you, Sherry Thomas. Okay, I know that the dessert isn't super Thanksgiving-y, but we're, we're gonna get a couple pies or whatever. But that sounds, banana souffle pudgies, what? Come on, that sounds delicious. Laura Thurwell, cornbread stuffing with sausage. Oh my god, yas. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, Lisa, Kate, wipe the right side of your face again. You have some potion left, and you'll get irritated. Like, wait, right side of my. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, I, I should really just look in the mirror because I'm looking. I'm just looking into my phone. Thank you, Lisa. You're right. You're right, Lisa. Thank you. Susie Stevens, I'm going to make an apple pie. My boyfriend's mom is making a chocolate pudding pie. Oof. Mm. We are going to need to track down an apple pie. Okay, he likes apple pie. I like I like apple pie, but I love pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving. Um What's your favorite side on Thanksgiving? I feel like that's a really good question. It never gets old. Um my favorite, I don't know. Well, I just said it was mashed potatoes, but I used to be obsessed with stuffing and gravy, yes. I don't know, I like it all together. Like, I like it all mushed together. I'm sorry, with just like a little bit of cranberry sauce and everything to just like, kind of like that tartness gets in there. So good. Stuffing mashed potatoes, I agree. Sarah Sunshine is saying green. Wow, my 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 Wi-Fi just stopped on a really horrific face that I just made. Um, <laughs> for my computer. Sarah Sunshine, green bean casserole. You know that's something we never really did, and I mean, yeah, we didn't really do that in our family. But I've had some delicious green bean casseroles. Jerry Morrison, broccoli cheese. I could just read these off the entire time. Broccoli cheese roll with french fried onions on top with extra cheese oh wow wowie wow 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 <clears throat> canned or real cra cranberry sauce michelle canada is asking either honestly i'll get into that canned shit i know <laughs> ashley a i'm starving i'm starving now or leslie mills said i'm starving now sorry not ashley um, Courtney Rogers, when I was in college, I got invited to a Thanksgiving party at a Canadian professor's house. We had pizza and ice cream. Whoa. I mean, I was trying to like be open-minded, but that's just a bummer. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's just a bummer. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit because I just feel really zoomed in right now and I'm not really loving it <laughs> for myself. Mm. Let's go back to the sides. Laura C, Brussels sprouts au gratin. 
Kim McConnell, my mom's stuffing. Mimi Micro, fresh cranberry orange relish. Okay. Cece said, or wait, Carla Cox said, sometimes we have seafood for Thanksgiving. Huh. Um, I'm trying to think of it. Ali said, is there, is there a traditional Thanksgiving food you dislike? Ooh, unpopular opinion. <sighs> Joanna Yas, I think Canadians have the right idea to not have the family clusterfuck jammed in into a few weeks. I mean... Yes, they have, Canadians have the right ideas in a lot of ways. <laughs> Let's be honest. Um, Allie said she doesn't like sweet potatoes or stuffing. Wow, that really, that really narrows, narrows it down there. Corn, oh. Tara B said cornbread dressing. We don't call it stuffing in South Carolina. Yeah, okay. Susie Stevens, I hate green beans. You know what? We're not really, I'm not a big green bean person and I don't think Randy is either, but I do like when it's that yummy crispy casserole, I can get down with that. Um... Yeah, my favorite, my favorite when I was young used to be my mom and my grandma would make, you know, the sweet potatoes with the mushrooms and the butter on top or sorry, the mushrooms. No, what? Drunk. The marshmallows. The marshmallows. What if I just would have gone with that? The marshmallows and the butter on top. It was, I loved it. But now like my, I feel like I'm not as much of a sweets person, but Oh man, I could have just, I could have eaten the whole thing, honestly. Courtney Rogers said, no cranberry sauce, sweet potato stuffing, or pumpkin, or weirdos who serve an iceberg salad on Thanksgiving. Who was that? Mm, that's weird. I mean, listen, live your life, but that's weird. Cece, Randy, my life is based on mashed potatoes. I support that. Oh my God, Jamie K, I don't like mashed potatoes. What? I know I'm in the minority. Yes, you are, but most people make them grainy and pasty. Really? Ooh, you know what I love to make? And this is my mom, but I love to make horseradish sour cream mashed potatoes. And you just, I got a potato masher. Is that the actual word for it? Oh, Better Off Red is here. Mushroom sweet potatoes is like Rachel's, is like, is like Rachel's lady fingers and ground beef trifle. What? I'm guessing this is a Friends reference. Oh, I'm like, what the hell's even happening? I felt like I just read like another language. <laughs> um, hi, Sarah. Okay, so... What was I saying? That really threw me off. Thanks a lot, Sarah. Just kidding. Potato masher. Oh, potato masher. So I just take the potato masher, um, any kind of potato, like Yukon Gold, Russet, red potato, red skin potatoes, whatever. And then I just, I, I just eyeball it, and I go heavy with the cream and the butter and just the horseradish, so it's nice and tangy, and the sour cream, and I just like mash that shit up with the skins because I love the skins. You gotta have that rustic skin in there. Breaking it up, mmm, yes. <sighs> Jimmy K, I don't know if we can talk anymore. I'm just kidding, just kidding. Um, Laura says, yay for skins, yay for skins. Okay, so while I'm yammering on, we could probably talk about this all day long. I'm going to move on to the next piece of business. Ooh, Lisa said put a bit of cream cheese in there too. I can't, if I do, I won't tell Randy. Don't even. Okay. Um, I'm going to, this is like the last bit of my rose face mask from Fresh. 
This has to be a damn long time. Oh God, this is just like, this is probably my number one mask that makes, like, because of how it smells and how it feels, both combined, that just makes me feel like I'm at a bougie spa. It's cooling. It's hydration. Morgan Walker, all the food smother and gravy. Same. Same. Nisi PC said she adores that rose mask too. Thank you. Or thank you. Because I made it. Literally, Fresh and I did a collab like years ago. I don't know if you know, but like I created this mask. <laughs> That's like when someone, you know, like you're you're going to a movie. And the person at the movie theater is like, enjoy the movie. And you're like, you too. No. Incorrect. <laughs> Ashley A. <clears throat> I like cream cheese for some things, but I do not consider it cheese. I agree with you, but don't, don't tell that guy in there that. Tammy Croft said... Better Off Red, I love the Lululemon Crew Trime. I watched it twice the day it dropped. Oh, wow. <sighs> Guys, I was obsessed with that Crew Trime. If you haven't seen Sarah's Crew Trime about the Lululemon murder, you must. Because I worked at Lululemon right after that murder happened. And I have lots of opinions on that company, if, you, if, you, if you're new to my channel. <laughs> the main opinion is no. So it's a no for me, dog. Um, but it it is it's a very gruesome story. But she, you know, she does all she does those videos so well. No, Nisi PC, he won't do cream cheese frosting either. Just everyone, stop trying. Maybe a little on a Cinnabon. You or... do not. Okay. I mean, I, I've always liked Cinnabon, and I feel like I only discovered later that the icing was made from cream cheese, so... Okay. I see. I don't believe you. I No, that's not true. I do believe you, because there are things, there are things that have cheesy elements to them, and you like them, and sometimes you don't know they're there, which also makes me think that you actually like cheese and you don't know it. Anyway. But it did kind of dig that for out of the other. Yeah, we had burrata at, <laughs> at Cathedral, and I made him eat it. He, he was like, no, and I was like, yes, you're eating this. It had a chickpea pancake with it, and he ate it, and he he just said he liked it. But this is the first time hearing of the full, full admission that he liked it, so. Patricia Goodwin, hi. Tony, hi. I feel like burrata almost doesn't even taste like cheese. It just tastes like cream, right? Better off red said, it's okay to change your mind, Randy. You're in the, sa <laughs> you're safe in the nest of trust. Okay, you got a burrata thumbs up out of me. So let's just give it another like seven to 10 years and then we'll talk. Okay, that's fair, I guess. Um. Okay, so let me scroll back up. I feel like I missed some Thanksgiving favorites. Cindy Stiff, I hate when people try to get away with gravy from a jar. Hmm, I don't know. I mean, I don't, surely there's some gravy from a jar that's tasty, right? Are you talking about like really generic, cheap gravy? I don't even know what that is. Is that like... I don't know. Scrolling, scrolling. <laughs> Better off, right? You can always count on me for some confusing references. Yes, thank you so much. Trying to think if we had any other like different 
Thanksgiving tradition, but I don't think, I can't think of any. Oh, my grandma used to make, oh, Megan Hurt, you do half with marshmallows, half with a delicious crumble. I don't know if you're talking about um, sweet potatoes. My grandma used to make a sour cream raisin pie, which, you know, I don't really like raisins a lot, but I, it didn't even matter because it was just, it was incredible. Oh, so, mm, 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 mm. Laveto Read 2, my first live chat. I made it. Welcome. Jerry Morrison mo must use gravy from a jar. Some, some is great. Some are great because the hubby is grilling our turkey. What? Are you saying you must use gravy, gravy from a jar? Why? Yeah, because if you're grilling a turkey, you can't get gravy out of it. Oh, right. Thank you. It's a good thing I'm not making Thanksgiving dinner, don't you think? Um... Bonnie Nominson, Trish, my dad made mincemeat pies for Thanksgiving. That sounds so, I don't know why, but it sounds British, right? I think when I think of mincemeat, I think of British. I, I think of Robin Hood. Robin Hood, I think of Sweeney Todd, not the same, but I do think of. <laughs> oh, you guys watch the, if you watch the vlog, one of the best things, and I wish, I wish we would have explained some of the dishes because they were incredible. But you'll see Randy like is putting this butter on a baguette and the thing that's being drizzled over it are rotisserie, rotisserie chicken drippings. Like a, they bring you a hot tin container, I don't know, of, of buttery rotisserie chicken drippings to drizzle all over a buttery baguette. What the hell? Michelle, Kate, what nationality is your grandmother? The food is in the food is intriguing. Um, she's not alive anymore, but she was Norwegian. And she also was incredible at making lefse. If anyone here knows what that is, it's basically Norwegian version of a um a crepe. And they're savory. And oh, it was my favorite thing. And then you put um, butter, it's, it's very, very thin, so you have to be very careful. Thin layer of butter and then sugar all over it and you heat it up. It, incredible. So, so good. Um, Kathy Jarvis, that will clog your arteries. Kathy, yeah, everything we're talking about will clog your arteries. <laughs> Guys, let's, let's switch over to health food now. Go, don't, don't, please don't. Thanks for the reminder, Kathy. <laughs> Thanks for the guilting reminder about the, all the food we're gonna inhale and things. That'll clog your arteries now. Just so you know, that'll clog them. It's gonna clog them. <laughs> Or whatever, the baguette with the chicken drippings, all of it. Okay. Oh, Jane Lane 80. I used to make lessa with my friend's family for Thanksgiving. That's awesome. Leveto. Only the good die young. Eat well while you can. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now this is the last time. Yes, this is the last time I'm going to leave the room. I'm, so, I'm sorry, it was so many times, um, but I'll be right back. Keep talking about things that are going to clog your arteries. Go.
Sherry Thomas, if I learned anything from this year, it's that life is short and if my arteries get clogged, so be it. <laughs> yeah. Better off red. Have we already named deviled eggs as a superior appetizer? Deviled eggs is one of my favorite things on earth. Now we never had them for the holidays. They were like a summer thing for us, but potato salad with eggs and deviled eggs, get out of town. Oh, the best. My mom sometimes makes cilantro, wait, let me get it right. Avocado cilantro deviled eggs. They are truly a treat. Ashley A, add butter to your deviled eggs. Thank me later. Okay. I trust Ashley A on almost everything and I don't even know her that well. And yet I really trust her. <laughs> okay. Ryan K, Ron's deviled eggs are a gift. Mm. I thought Sarah just said something. Hold on. Damn it. Oh, I ate a whole tray one year by myself and was so ill. I was about nine years old. Oof. Sounds bad. Sounds really bad. Okay. Momo Kitty is here. Hi, Momo Kitty. Okay. So next step. Tony Page. Kate, did you see my comment on your vlog? Um, I don't know. I don't, I, what did it say? Tell me. I don't remember. Um, <laughs> Angel Howell, my girlfriend makes gourmet deviled eggs, bacon, and blue cheese, wasabi ones, and jalapeno. What? What? Okay. So I'm going to use my... I don't know why I'm fixing my hair. Why? Um, I'm gonna use my fresh kombucha facial treatment as essence. I use this twice a day. Am I doing this in the right order? Yes. Okay. Okay. And then while it's still wet, that's the important part, I go in with my Hyaluronic Acid Serum from Good Molecules. I already have a backup of this shit because I go through it like water. Um, let's see, Mills, I want that fresh essence. It's spency. Well, I'll tell you something. They make a smaller version of it and that's what I get. I mean, I love it so much that I should, I'm probably just going to get the big version, but I've got the last two bottles I've gotten have been the smaller version. So, okay, next going in with my Dr. Dennis Gross Ferulic and Retinol Triple Correction Eye Serum. This is my new favorite eye serum, eye cream. I really love an eye serum because it's so slippy. Also, there's retinol in this. Yes, please. Let's put the retinol where we can, right? Um, and I feel like I can give myself like a nice, gentle little massage under my eyes. And then I'm going to use my Mesama Green Ruibos, Ruibos Pressed Serum. I used this last time and I am gonna break out the robot mask, so don't you worry. People told me that, and I, sh I should know this because I love Pensma skincare and everything she has to say. Um, if you use something like this, people were saying green tea, but this isn't green tea, but it's rooibos. If you use this and then you use LED, I don't know, it's supposed to like literally give you the skin of a five-year-old. So I've been doing it. And I have to say, Robos, sorry, Robos. Thank you, Leslie Mills. Robos, like Robocop. Why is there an eye in there though? That's very deceptive. Um, okay. 
Okay, now I'm just gonna let that set for a second. I'm gonna go in with Miss Thang. Oh, Leslie Mills, no, I'm not right, Kate. Okay. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Someone corrected me last time and I was like, oh, that's how you say it. And then I completely forgot. Okay, this is not actually called the robot mask, okay? The actual name for it is the Dr. The Dr. Dennis Gross DRX Spectralite Facewear Pro LED Mask. Okay? I chart. Catchy. It's so catchy. It's the catchiest, you might say. I like to call it a mask, my robot mask. And, you know, I'm trying to Benjamin, Benjamin Button myself. So, here we go. LED, you guys, it's magic, okay? I know I told you some of whoever was here last time, whatever. Um, my mom is having a lot of pain in her hands because of arthritis and perhaps something going on in her neck. And she was getting to a point where she couldn't, um, she couldn't even make a fist. And I did my research and I found this LED um, hand pain mitt from Sharper Image. And I sent it to her and she sent me a video. She can finally make a fist and she hadn't been able to do that in a long time. LED is incredible. Don't ask me to <laughs> explain the science behind it because I can't. But um, I'm pretty amazed and I can also tell like I can see such an improvement in the suppleness of my skin, the texture of my skin. I try to remember to use it every single day. Sometimes use it every other day. <clears throat> and if you're a person who, um, you know, has issues with acne or whatever, you can use the blue light for acne. And then you can also use a combined red and blue light, which if I tapped this a third time, that's what that would be. So you can kind of get both. But yeah, so I but I basically just use the red light. And I use it it just depends. But I use it, um, it times out after three minutes. So I'll do it like between three and five times usually. Amanda, I'm scared to shell out the cash for that mass viewing reviews that said it randomly stopped working after a few months and I'm torn. I mean, here's the thing. I mean, I'm not experiencing that. I've had this for, I think, I think three months now. Um, if that happened, return that shit. <laughs> Guys, if you get it from Sephora, now I couldn't link, link it to Sephora because it's sold out. So I linked it to Nordstrom. But either way, like if something isn't working, you can return it, you know? So um, I will, Certainly keep you up. To, obviously, if this start, stops working, I'll let you know. But I haven't had any issues with it thus far. Um, oh, Ashley A said the Nordstrom return policy is so good. There you go. I think the return policy at Sephora is really good, too. Um, Oh, Sassy Red, good night. Good night. Oh, it's already been three minutes. Gosh, time flies when you're live streaming. Lisa said you can you can use all the skincare before the red light. I've been doing the Innisfree Green Tea Toner and that tea serum, light, then rest of serum. Okay, that's good to know. I'm just scrolling up here. Wait, Pamela Willis. 
you use a small amount of leftover pota mashed potato and add powdered sugar till it forms a dough and you roll it out and spread peanut butter on it, then roll it up and put it in the fridge. What? What the hell? That sounds incredible. Wow. Even curiouser, there's an aunt whose responsibility is to bring deviled eggs to every family event. She tried to switch up the recipe one year and we all revolted. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> mm. Jane Lane 80, be sure to use eye protection with light therapy. I know this is a live stream, so maybe you don't usually keep your eyes open, but can damage your eyes. Actually, I mean, listen, again, I'm not a scientist, but I, <laughs> how many times, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm not a doctor or a scientist. I checked with Penn Smith Skincare, who I honestly trust, honest to God, trust with my life. And she was like, 100% red light is fine for your eyes. Where you have to worry is blue light and then the combined light of the blue and red. She's like, red light, you don't have to worry about your eyes. So I wouldn't be doing this otherwise in front of you. But she gave her okay. I mean, listen, if my eyes fall out of my head soon, I'm blaming, I'm going to sue Penn Smith Skincare, essentially. You can, you can tell her that. Tell her that. <laughs> Just kidding. Better off red. Red light therapy doesn't require eye protection. It does not damage your eyes like UV light. Thank you, Better Off Red, for coming in with those facts, girl. Amanda said she thought I was a scientist and she's unsubscribing. Yeah, I hear you. I totally hear you. No, guys, the red light, the red light does not, it's not going to do anything to your eyes. I also take my eyes pretty seriously. So you best believe when I got this mask, that was one of the first things I did was text Penn. And I was like, tell me about this. Yeah, Ika says red light is safe. Thank you. Why do I have this in my hand right now? Like, what do I think I'm doing with this? Sharon Cottigan, can I just say the profile on that mask is fantastic? Oh, I know. You mean like literally the profile on it? Like... So what you're saying is you like a really pointy nose. Is that what you're saying? With like a really cut jawline and then some gold um, cheekbones. I like that too. Jamie K said, this isn't science night. I wanted to talk about Punnett squares. Whoa, that really just brought, I forgot about that until now. I know I need a straw. I do. I really do. Um, okay, when this goes off, we're going to move on. Usually I'll do it for a little bit longer, but I mean, you get the picture. You get the pitch. Kendall Schmidt, how does one inject oneself with Botox? That doesn't seem like a good idea. Okay, obviously this is something I just walked into because... I don't, yeah, I don't know that that's a, uh, I don't know that's a good idea. <laughs> Cheryl McNeil, Kate looks like a sassy Spartan. Yes. Okay. Oh, Jay, Jay Ann said, I tried the pharmacy honey mask and it's amazing. I mean, listen, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. All right. So come on mask, end it, wrap it up. Cause I want to move on to the next thing. <sighs> wow. The, that first three minutes went really fast now. This feels excruciating. All right, I'll just end it. I'll just end it. Oh, oh God, oh God. My eyes, my eyes are gonna fall out of my head. Okay. Ashley A, I just imagined someone clicking on this live without context. <laughs> 
Okay, so don't be alarmed. This is just where the, the mask, like if I'm standing and I'm not laying down, there's a little, just a little bit of press right there. It just, it's gonna go away. Someone's gonna be like, oh my God, your forehead. Okay, we're coming to the end, I swear, I swear. What are we doing next? We're doing, this is a better off red situation. Um, my new favorite moisturizer is the CEO, uh, the Sunday Riley CEO vitamin C rich hydration cream. I know some, exactly. Eka, someone's gonna be like, oh my God, your forehead is burnt. See? Oh my God. Jay Ann's talking about the honey post. She said, I ran out and bought it the day after you did the favorites video. Everyone should get it. Yes. And I always, well, I try to take everything down into my decollete. Mm, like when I got my facial at rescue spa, she like got down in there. Like she got, cause it's, you know, it's all a part of it. Your shoulders, your neck, your chest. Oh, Sharon Cottigan. I watched Dr. Pimple Popper through my, through my hands. You and Michelle Wong. She loves Dr. Pimple Popper. Loves it. Okay, we're being extra tonight, okay, because we did a lot of stuff. We did the shaving, which is exfoliation, a physical exfoliation. We did the P50. So I just want to make sure that we're giving some extra hydration here. I'm, I would normally do my retinol, but I'm not going to do that tonight because of, all, you know, the shaving. I don't want to overdo it. So this is the Drunk Elephant. Wait, do I want to do this? Now, you know what? Actually, we don't need that. That's a lot. There's a lot going on there. I'm going to move right on to, I haven't used this in a hot minute. This is another thing that I feel like when I do use it, kind of like the um, Drunk Elephant Sukari Baby Facial, the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask, magic. And you're supposed to use it as a last step. You can see it's jellyish. Wow, it's going to take me years to get through that. Mm. Love that mask. Love it. And then last step is a facial mist. And I'm going to use my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist from Miss Sherry Ford, the bougiest of the bouge skin mists. Micro, <laughs> Mimi Micro, oh my God, you look like an infant in the morning. Wow, that is extreme. Thank you. I'm gonna use that from now on. I'm going for infant in the morning. Michelle Canada, that is so much exfoliating. My dry ass face would fall off. Girl, did you see how much shit I put on afterward though? Listen, for you, maybe add in this extra step, this dry, elef <laughs> dry, dry elephant, Freudian slip, <laughs> also redundant. Um, F balm electrolyte water facial. Maybe for someone with dry skin, add in an extra step like that. That's like an extra drink of water for your skin. But I am like, I'm like a glazed ham right now. Okay. Anyway, so this is the finished look. <laughs> 
Thank you guys for joining me for my um, treat show self skincare night. This was fun. This is really fun. Um, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, so the next live stream is going to be on Wednesday. I'm really hoping that I have that damn Raw Beauty Christie stuff by then. I got a notification saying it was delayed. I'm angry. Um, we'll see. Follow me on the gram. I always update things on there. I also update things on my community tab. But no matter what, there's going to be a live stream on, on Wednesday. Um, Kate's giving. Kate's giving. <gasps> exactly. Exactly. So thank you guys so much for joining me. And if you're here and you haven't, so many people are getting a thumbs up. I feel like we're, we're good. Um, we didn't make it to 12 thumbs downs. I'm super disappointed. You know, what can you do? Um, what can you do? And if you're not subscribed and you're enjoying this shit, please subscribe and please that click that notification bell. And then if you haven't watched my vlog, go watch my vlog because it's a delight. It's a New York City trip. I have a little bit of beer left, so I'm going to cheers you. I guess I should cheers something. I don't know. Like, this is hard with skincare. Like, what? I don't know. I mean, I feel like I've cheers the robot mask before. All right, it's been a hot second. So I'm gonna cheers the, I mean the honey potion I've cheers like a million times. I'm gonna cheers the glow recipe, watermelon sleeping mask, good job. Ugh. Okay guys. See you on Wednesday at seven. We'll just say seven p.m. There's no point in waiting till seven thirty. <laughs> see you on Wednesday. See you on Wednesday at seven thirty.